number of reasons for having a very high incidence of heart disease in Detroit. One, the lack of exercise because of the weather. Second, there are just not enough fresh food joints around. Thirdly, uh, for some reason, there is higher obesity incidence. Blood pressure is a measure of resistance and how the blood is flowing through the blood vessels, usually the arteries. A blood pressure value of 140 or more is considered high enough to be requiring treatment. But any value of blood pressure over 120 over 70 is considered as abnormal and it warrants close follow-up. Diabetic patients need more aggressive treatment of their blood pressure and any value of 130 over 80 is considered high enough to require treatment. What are the treatment strategies? One is prevention. That means you're going to go on a low salt diet and you're going to exercise regularly and you're going to avoid fatty foods. The second strategy is if this is not working is to go on medications. There are a number of different medications that are available with minimal to no side effects but you've got to take them regularly because in 95% of the people blood pressure is a silent killer. It does not manifest itself till you had a stroke, heart attack, kidney problem, or poor circulation. Systolic pressure is the amount of resistance that is generated in the blood vessel as the blood emits out of the heart into the peripheral vasculature. The lower number is a number that is indicative of what the basal resistance is or what the tone of the vasculature is at resting state. If your heart muscle has already become weak and you have congestive heart failure, there are ways of managing that as well. So, Important thing is to take initiative and be involved in your health. That's the key. Heart disease is preventable. The way to manage heart disease is not when you're in your 50s, but when you're in your teenage years and 20s. That's really when the problem with heart disease starts. You start accumulating cholesterol in your blood vessels very early in life. So you should really be exercising very regularly in your 20s and 30s, and you should be paying attention to risk factors that lead to heart disease. A number of things that you can do. First of all, it starts with motivation and understanding of what the problem is. If you understand that you're overweight and if you're motivated to do something about it, that's a start in itself. Secondly is lifestyle modification. That means you're going to cut back in the amount of portions you're going to eat. You're going to have more vegetables and have helpings of fresh fruit. Thirdly, you need to go out and exercise regularly and have regular follow-up with doctors. There are a lot of doctors around. You just have to get up, make an appointment, and follow up with your doctors regularly. Mm -hmm.